But to begin the show, I wanted to quickly touch upon some unfortunate news to kind of um, follow up on what I spoke about previously regarding the sex positive kink party crossbreed has unfortunately decided to shut its doors permanently if you are aware i did share the story that allegedly the founder of crossbreed alex aka kiwi was alleged of being a little bit of a menace behind the scenes people were alleging him of all sorts of stuff um that you know no, no more evidence has really come out of it but essentially he was basically, you know, his leadership was being called into question, whether or not he was a good person was being called into question. And maybe he was doing some things behind the scenes that people didn't like in terms of essay stuff and other bits and bobs that I don't want to get involved in and talk about because, you know, I don't really know much about it in terms of the allegations because unfortunately the meme page that was sort of spreading some of this news or collecting some of the accounts from various people who were accusing Alex of what he was doing was unfortunately shut down. So there's no real record to see what people were actually talking about. All I got was like second and third hand sort of reportage, but essentially Kiwi was basically accused of somebody that was kind of LARPing as whatever identity that Kiwi identifies. I think Kiwi's non binary, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, and also people will call into question some things that are happening behind the scenes as an essay and all that stuff I mentioned prior. And at the time, which I thought was pretty good approach to dealing with this sort of stuff, especially when you compare it to what happened with Lost the Ferryman and that Asquith guy, I thought the fact that Kiwi came out straight away or maybe the team at Crosby and said, hey, he's not involved for the moment, he stepped down, um, all the power and all the controls being handed over to the team, they're in control of it, but the next few parties we're going to put on pause until we kind of can come to a resolution as to what happened and how we can pro progress. I thought that was a good way to deal with it because I thought when it comes to the Lobster Ferryman issue, one of the major things i thought was annoying about it even if that issue or even the allegation isn't true or whatever it may be i just thought it was kind of unfair of the founder of olopsa forum to just hang around and not basically relinquish control and separate himself from the label to give the artists a chance to thrive and do their thing because what in the midst of all those allegations i do remember seeing a few people being in the comments of certain artists from olopsa forum and basically hounding them as to why they haven't commented on what was going on with the founder of their label which is not really Really their position to do so i mean they, they, they don't they don't have to comment on it and it was unfair for the leader to sort of put them in that position so i thought the fact that kiwi came out and did hey uh, i'm gonna step back the control has been you know i'm gonna hand over the entire control of the operations over to a team i'm no longer involved i'm sorry blah 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 i thought that was pretty cool but i guess behind the scenes that didn't really fix anything and um it looks like or it doesn't look like they've kind of confirmed via their Instagram profile that Crossbreed is over and done with. This is courtesy of the Instagram profile and the story section. I don't think they posted it on their main feed. So it goes as follows. It is with great sadness that I announced that Crossbreed will be closing permanently. The team has made a decision that it is not possible to work with the Crossbreed brand further and as such I have to close the company down. I want to thank everyone who's been part of this past three years or last three years, sorry. Everyone... No, so this is what they said to continue there. It is with great sadness that I announce that Crossbreed will be closing permanently. The team has made the decision that it's not possible to work with Crossbreed brand further and as such I have to close the company down. I want to thank everyone who has been part of the last three years, everyone who has worked with us and everyone who danced. Words will never really be enough. This community is so special and I hope that in time other spaces will grow too. All tickets will automatically be refunded in the coming days. The Instagram page will be disabled tomorrow. For any inquiries, please contact contact crossbreedworld at gmail.com alex slash kiwi so a little bit of a sad way to end such an amazing i think party and community again i have to stress i'm not part of the kink scene in what's in any way shape or form it's not really my thing but i think i stumbled upon crossbreed at the beginning of the pandemic probably and i just like the fact that there was this platform available this space available for people that were into kink parties into sex positive parties and wanted to go somewhere where they felt safe and maybe where they could also kind of marry the best of both worlds like being into dance music and also being into the kink stuff and i thought that was pretty cool and i like their branding i like the how they took their pictures um i like the ethos behind it even though some of it was a little bit you know insufferable and a little bit self-absorbed and whatnot and not really self-aware i like the fact that they had a position in certain things and they stood on it sometimes you know they 
they did like to do an apology post all the time, but I do like that they had strong position on certain topics and certain things involving consent, involving, you know, um, representation and um, all that sort of stuff. I thought it was pretty cool to see from them. And I think in dance music overall, because most club nights are just kind of the same thing, it's just a flipping DJ booth in the corner and a dark room and some lights and that's it. The element of kink, I think, involved, the element of play, um, the element of, of like textual exploration, I feel like is really interesting to kind of, you know, overlay that on top of just a regular sort of club night, quote unquote. I thought that was pretty cool. And they even went a step further. They had like, you know, safety officers. They had particular sort of training or, you know, insights they could lend to security to get them to be able to deal with people who are coming to those parties so it's not make them feel uncomfortable. I just thought it was an interesting sort of idea behind um, a club night that I thought you never really see too often in London, especially London being as boring and vanilla as it is. I'm sure there was a scene already there before Crossbreed, you know, started. That's probably on the underground and on a needs to know invite only basis. But the fact that they were able to do it at such a big level, I thought was pretty cool. That's obviously all positive. And obviously for someone like myself who's not even involved in the scene, for me to have such an affinity with it and to see the benefit that comes from it, you can only imagine what it was like being a part of that whole scene. The curious part about this whole comment, I thought statement, sorry, from Crossbreed, is the first, is the couple of lines in the second paragraph, which says the team has made the decision that it's not possible to work with a Crossbreed brand further. And as such, I have to close the company down. That's really alarming. And what that tells me is that potentially the accusations that were levied against Alex are a bit more serious than I maybe had first um, realized, or maybe that even the community even understood the fact that the team themselves felt that there was no coming back from this and Crossbreed couldn't in good conscience go out there again and be promoting parties and trying to insert themselves back in the community, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. Even if Alex did step away and completely relinquish control and gave it to a team to kind of manage and do as they please please the brand has been tarnished to that extent and the other thing that's also concerning about it is that would there have been no clarification as to what the accusations were there's been no follow-up there's been no acknowledgement of it it's just been a blanket sort of hush hush let's keep this on a quiet and move on the move to kind of disable the comments on the Instagram I thought was quite cowardly on their part I understand you don't want people to get abused and whatnot but there needs to be a platform or a space where they can be free and open discussion and the fact that Crossbreed's account was really private anyway and they probably weren't accepting any new people as followers on their account in the last few weeks it would have been easy to manage the comments and to make sure that people weren't going being crazy and just to kind of let people essentially have a debate and talk openly about whatever accusations have been levied so that people can be aware of what's going on in the scene and any learnings can come of it can be applied to other parties going in the future because I think as grim as this is and as bleak as this is it's also a moment for people to step up and say hey you know that space or that place didn't do things correctly I I know that I can maybe do something a bit better I've got a community of people who need a place to go to that is a bit safe and I can learn from the mistakes that Crossbeed have made and other parties have made and we can go and do things better so there's definitely an opportunity to do so because I'm sure there's a whole community of people at Crossbeed who will be splintered all over the place but if they can kind of you know if someone can step up and sort of fill that void I think it'll be quite successful but I honestly do think there needs to be some clarification from the founder as to what exactly went on because I feel like it's not cool because if this happened to any other scene let's imagine I mentioned before if this happened in the, in a techno in a tech house scene you know or anything else that most people in the sort of techno and alternative avant-garde underground scene don't really like people will be spitting feathers that there hasn't been any accountability any owning up any any fronting of the allegations or explaining or what's been actually going on it's all been very cloak and dagger type and it's been dealt in the background which maybe is the best way to deal with it who knows if you invite more voices it may just muddy it but i do feel like there needs to be a public acknowledgement as to exactly what went on so everyone could be clear as to what was going on behind the scenes so that these mistakes cannot be repeated you know going forward and i feel like you know from the lessons that have been learned with the other place what was the other one called club verbotum right the one that's moved back to berlin i think the founder was originally from berlin wasn't he i don't know anyway but i read an article recently that said where they moved to berlin because they kind of got fed up of dealing with the councils and the local you know whatever else it may be restrictions and regulations that come with trying to set up the one of those parties here in the uk or in london specifically so they do some parties here and there but for the most part they're basically 
based in Berlin now. So there's clearly a bit of a void to be filled there. And I'm sure there's other parties that exist on an insular basis. Like if you're into a scene, you'll probably be aware of. But it kind of is proof that regardless of what subculture you belong to, regardless of what niche you belong to, what community you belong to, when it comes to nightlife, you just have to be on your P's and Q's. You have to keep your head on a swivel. You can't just assume because the people around you are into the same thing that you're into or come from the same community that they're going to be treating you with respect or you're going to be in a quote unquote safe space. You have to treat every space or every interaction you go into with some level, unfortunately, of skepticism, of hesitancy, of just, you just have to always, always question everything all the time every space you're in and never take things for granted or never take things for face value and ha allow places to build your trust and not always actually give them your trust and just think because this person says the right words or looks a certain way that automatically they're going to be do right by you because they clearly won't clearly clearly won't and it's also interesting to see that some of the prominent voices i mentioned beforehand that are involved in that scene some of them are following social media haven't said an absolute peep about this and like i said prior if this what happened in the tech house scene if this was something that occurred God forbid in the Michael Bibby party People would be going crazy Do you know what I mean And the fact that no one Is really addressing it Or talking about it openly Is a bit sus But who knows Maybe there's some work Being done behind the scenes That I'm not aware of Because again I'm not part of that community So I don't know There's some stuff Probably going on there That I'm not really Kind of privy to Who knows But overall It's a sad day In London nightlife Because I think More of these sort of like Because I think the, the What's that thing called the The sort of delinquent The weirdo Loves the fact that There's these kind of like you know un, you know underground type of need to know parties that exist out there i think another nightlife needs it we need to have a kind of very tapestry of club nights that weave together that different people can go to and feel comfortable in and bloody blah, blah 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 and losing one i think is always a blow when it comes to the offerings that we have every single weekend personally for me and again also the people working behind the scenes there at crossbreed you know force and feelings go out to them because all of them are out of a job now effectively because of one person's mistakes or one person's wrong doing which i feel like is always something that's really really unfortunate in these situations where somebody can do a misstep and then everyone else has to basically suffer the consequences of it is really really hard to take so force and feelings got with everybody that was working behind the scenes at crossbreed hopefully you all land on your feet and go on to do other great and big things going forward and lessons can be learned so that these mistakes cannot be repeated that's what we want to see that's what we want to see